right, Can Bowie? <laughs> All right, Bowie. No, I don't want to what's today? Can you do after my hair? What, what's today? Baby's coming. Oh. Baby's okay. gonna be here. How pretty. I should post this for BB and this song. What's today? Baby day. Baby day. Hi, baby. You ready? <laughs> Hi, baby. We get to meet baby today. Hmm. Boo. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. So, this is the story of uh, the birth of Grayson. This is Grayson Baldwin. So we had Grayson at Texas Health in Frisco. Um, we got there at 5 a.m. for the scheduled induction. We were a couple minutes late. No, we weren't. We were, we were like right no, we were like 10. We were, we were like in, seven minutes late. We were walking in the hospital door at 5 a.m. Yeah. I think. And you say hi? Oh man, that's a cool idea. We walked in with Jack. We, Jack was staying with some friends, so. We uh, we brought him with us, and you can kind of tell they were like, "What's this? What's the kid doing here?" I was like, "He's leaving. <laughs> don't worry." But he came and hung out for like an hour. Yeah. Until yeah, he had a blast. Yeah, he, <laughs> he had, had a so blast. much fun. I wasn't gonna ask our friend if we could drop him off at like 4:45. Yeah. So they, our friend Nadia, came and picked him up at 7 a.m. And then that was perfect because that's when everything started to happen at the hospital. Mm-hmm. Are you excited to get a little brother or a little sister? What do you think it is? Oh no, those aren't Jack toys. Do you think we're having a baby boy or a baby girl? Huh? Baby brother, baby sister. Those aren't stickers, you're right. Puppy, are we having a baby boy or a baby girl? Huh? A baby boy. A baby boy. When we got to the hospital at 5 a.m., they hooked me up to the monitors, and I thought I was already having some minor contractions, and then I asked the nurse, she said, yeah, you're having contractions. I think you are already starting labor on your own. Yeah. So it was meant to be that he was coming on Friday anyways. Yep. Uh, we said before that some of Emily's friends were also pregnant, and they both had their babies early. Yep, we all had the same due date, and they all thought I would be first. <laughs> Like last, I said last time, last video, last. I, like, I would not have guessed that Emily would be the last one to have this baby. Yeah, me either. We had to force him out, kind of. Switch sides. How's baby doing? Moving. Moving.
they gave me a really low dose of Pitocin and then Dr. Harn came in and broke my water and then that kick-started That was everything got going pretty quick after I like, started everything. dilating really quick and then Contraction started got, got, got the epidural pretty quick after that <laughs> Yeah, but I went from like two centimeters dilated to six or seven in like in two like, hours if that yeah not even so at the hospital jack is gone with our friend em doing great doing great mm -hmm. baby's coming what did we get pitocin we did pitocin she's already feeling contractions apparently she was feeling She's been feeling contractions since we woke up this morning. <laughs> Said nothing. <laughs> what are you doing? Goofball. Check me again. And then that's when I decided to get the epidural yeah. because it was pretty dang painful at that point. So I got the epidural and I told the anesthesiologist that <laughs> I don't generally do well with anesthesia. Like I need more than what I think a normal person would. I get the dentist and everything. I can always feel the root canal. Um, so I just have to give me more for numbing. So. And it worked. <laughs> and it worked. He <laughs> did not hesitate. He gave me a lot. I think lot. they said like eight units as usual and they gave her like 10 to 12 or something like I don't that. Know. And like, I could not Couldn't feel, move her legs, couldn't feel her legs. <laughs> my legs it, felt, it was working. My legs felt like they were like a thousand pounds each. It was actually really uncomfortable. <laughs> When Jack was born, we almost had to redo the epidural because I it wasn't enough. Like I could feel things. She was they were rolling her around in the bed trying to get it to go down. Yeah, like it was just not gravity so, and stuff. And I was like, this time can I just like have enough? Yeah, just give it to me. <laughs> so they, it all worked. So they did, and I but couldn't then, feel a thing. And then so around eleven o'clock rolls around, mm -hmm. right? And our nurse was like, let's do some practice pushes. Let's see where you're at. Well, she checked and she was like, you're 10 centimeters. Let's yeah. just, let's... let's... Let's see how you do. Because the doctor was across the hall in the next building over, um, seeing patients still. So she's like, oh, okay, give it a couple, a couple good pushes and stuff. And uh, Emily's like, I don't feel like I'm doing anything. <laughs> Yet we're looking down that, <laughs> and there was a head <laughs> popping out. <laughs> and then I started laughing and she was like, you can't laugh. Yeah, this baby's like, going to come out. <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> They're like, you should call Dr. Harn and let's get him over here now. <laughs> yeah, she was so, on the phone. She's like, he needs to get here now. It was pretty funny. It was like, the, from that point on, it was It was like 40 minutes. Not even, I don't think. She pushed was... like three times. <laughs> not including, I guess, no, probably including that one. It was like two to three rounds of pushes. <laughs> yeah. And then here's our bubby boy. And he came My right boy. out. And I didn't feel <laughs> a darn thing. I know. Isn't oh, that crazy? That's when you were born, buddy. Yeah. And then we... Everyone's gonna be shocked. Hi, buddy. We didn't know if it was a boy or a girl. Yeah, we were so finding out in the moment again. Taylor said it's a boy. We weren't. Emily wasn't set on a name yet, so. I didn't say the name yet. We just kind of we said it's a boy. Shouted about it in secret. And then they said, "What's his name?" And I said, "I think <laughs> it's Grayson." I think. And here he is. And here he is, and it's perfect.
Jack just hung out at his friend's house all day and she kept sending us vi videos and pictures of how much fun the kids were having and uh, Grayson, we just kind of hung out with Grayson and got used to being with him and feeding him and everything and he was back to this, baby the tar diapers and stuff and which no one warns about the first time but I was ready this time. <laughs> uh, so we, we loved our stay there. Um, at the hospital. Was, yeah. Everyone was really nice. All the nurses were great. Uh, yeah, it was a really nice place to stay. Yeah. I really liked all of our nurses. The food was good. I ate a chocolate They had gluten-free stuff. I ate so a Emily brownie and a rice krispie with every single a, meal. Every meal. It was so funny. Two of them. So we did that. That's a uh, good treat. And then the next day we got, we brought Jack over. I went to get him in the morning and brought him over to meet Bubba's. Maybe it was the love. sweetest thing in the world. Jack is in love. He loves them. I might throw some. I've never put pictures on any of these videos. I might put some pictures on just because. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, That's big mama, brother. bud. Him so much. It was so sweet. Oh, best friend of those still. later, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so cute. You want to meet somebody? <laughs> you, you should. I'm going to put the picture. Baby who? I'm going to figure out how to do it. Biggest smile. Remember ever. his name? <laughs> ever. He loves him. So much. Yeah. Who is that? Baby. Can I give him a high five? Yeah. Want to pet his head? 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 Want yeah. He's his brother. And they're best friends, huh, bud? Is that your best friend? <laughs> so yeah, we stayed there for... We were going to stay for two days. And they ended up... Is baby and mommy present? No. Where is it? Where is baby? In there. In there. He's just sleeping. He's taking a nap, huh? It's a cozy blankie, huh? I baby Grayson. <laughs> he said, I love you. I love you. He's going to be your best friend, huh, bud? He's waking up in a minute. We ended up staying an extra night. Um, so Jack stayed with a friend again, and I went over and that kind of helped him get to bed this time and everything. But yeah, it thanks, guys. It was a guys. good birth. Yeah. Super. My my favorite one. Yeah, <laughs> my favorite one. <laughs> no offense, Jack. This was just easy. Like, so easy. In the real fast in the hospital room right before I had him, I was like, it is too calm in here. Like there was like <laughs> it's too easy. Like I was just feeling fine. Like the doctors were super calm. Like everyone was just. It was like quiet, and I was like, this feels weird. Like isn't it supposed to be more like eventful? And Dr. Hearn was like. No, calm is good. We want calm. And I was like, okay, yeah. That's I funny. agree. She, she said that like right before we Literally started pushing Literally right before stuff he came out. out. Yeah. Like the most like. Right before the nurse came in and was like, all right, let's check it out. <laughs> no, it was like when Dr. Hearn was already there. So yeah, this was a good birth. He came into the world. Easy peasy, huh? Say bye, Grayson. Say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs>